Bienvenue. Welcome to Coffee Talk with King Francois Premier, where we will discover the tales, trials, and talents of Renaissance Festival performers, merchants, and diehard attendees as we journey by way of lighthearted and even at times heartwarming conversations about the Renaissance Festival world. I am your host, Theodore Jander, a.k.a. King Francois Premier. Bonjour. Welcome to Coffee Talk with King Francois Premier. I am your host, Theodore Jander. I am excited to bring to all listeners episode 8, which is a special holiday renaissance episode where we will discover the sounds of the Greenleaf Singers. They are an exciting St. Louis-based vocal ensemble specializing in a cappella music of the Renaissance. So during this episode, you will hear a handful of pieces from the Greenleaf Singers repertoire, which includes folk songs from village festivals, love melodies from royal palaces, and jovial tunes from renowned Renaissance composers. The Greenleaf Singers was founded at Elliott Unitarian Chapel, located in the St. Louis, Missouri area, in 1976, primarily as musical support to the annual Elliott Madrigal Dinners. Essentially, Greenleaf was self-directed by members of the group for the first 20 or so years. Then, in 2003, Greenleaf decided to hire one of the base section members of the ensemble as sole artistic director. That base was actually myself, Theodore Jander. And so, with this added consistency of structure and leadership, Greenleaf branched out into additional performance opportunities around St. Louis and solidified into a diverse, tight-knit ensemble of, of 16 audition singers who have now been together anywhere from 7 to about 21 years. The group's shared love of learning great music, perfecting their art, playing dress-up as they do dress in Renaissance-era style clothing, and generally being nerdy, provides a basis for true camaraderie amongst the members. They, they have been known to share a mug or two in each other's company, and if this were 1522, they are pretty sure they would be the cool kids. Lastly, as the 2022-2023 season began, there did come a change in leadership with a new artistic director, Tristan Frampton, taking the helm and bringing a new perspective and movement forward, building on a solidly created musical foundation and tradition. So, we begin with a traditional Greenleaf welcome. All hail, good gentlefolk, and well met. The time is now at hand to fill this podcast with sounds of delight. For so the music of the Greenleaf Singers will envelop you with great comfort, peace, and joy this night. Although I do understand that it might very well be the middle of the day or early morning when you are actually listening to this podcast episode. Now, sit back, relax, and let your hearts, minds, and souls be touched by the music of centuries past as Coffee Talk with King Francois Premier brings you this special holiday renaissance episode with music performed by the Greenleaf Singers.
We began our musical journey with a piece Greenleaf performed as their processional during their Christmas 2022 performances, Personnet Hodier. The original tune comes from P.A. Canciones, meaning devotional songs. It's a 1582 collection of songs by Theodoricus Petrus of Nyland, Finland. The version the ensemble sang was arranged by Greenleaf's new artistic director, Tristan Frampton. Next, we will travel to England by way of two songs from the pen of John Dowland, considered one of the greatest songwriters of Renaissance England. Dowland delighted audiences and nobility as a fine singer and accomplished lutenist, essentially the Renaissance equivalent of the modern rock or pop star. He gained his greatest success and recognition as an English musician with his first book of songs or airs of four parts. Dowland's compositions were not only sung in the home, but were performed for monarchs as well. Fine Acts for Ladies, a witty, spirited madrigal, was one such piece. It is divided into three main sections and made up of three verses. Dowlin exquisitely merges music and text to show that love is found in the heart rather than in trinkets and toys, and that love will remain simple and true when it is rooted in the heart. Following Fine Acts for Ladies will be Dowlin's Come Again, Sweet Love, which is included in his first book of songs or airs, published in 1597. Come Again, Sweet Love originated as a lute song performed by vocal soloist and lute. Like many of Dowlin's lute songs, this delightful yet bittersweet love song was also scored for vocal ensemble, the version of which you will hear momentarily. So, the Greenleaf Singers present for your listening pleasure, Fine Knacks for Ladies and Come Again, Sweet Love. Fine Knacks for Ladies, Do you do? 
Now we will take a little trip to Italy with three wonderful musical compositions. First up is El Grillo, written by Josquin de Pre, a very influential Catholic Flemish composer of the late Middle Ages and early Renaissance eras. De Pre has been called the master of notes for his masterful composition technique and vast output of sacred and secular works. Josquin worked in Milan, Rome, and when in Rome, he did work under the Pope in the Papal Chapel, and he also worked in Paris. Josquin's El Grillo falls into the genre of a frottola, a comedic or humorous song scored for three to four voices in a homorhythmic or chordal style. According to some scholars, this piece was about a colleague of Josquin's, singer Carlo Grillo, whose last name translates as cricket. And for your benefit, I am including the following translation in the show notes. The cricket is a good singer who sings for a long time. The cricket sings just for fun. The cricket is a good singer. But unlike the birds who fly off when they've sung a little, the cricket just stays where he is. When the weather is really hot, he sings only for love. The second Italian selection, Fauna Canzona, was penned by Orazio Vecchi, a late Renaissance Italian composer known mostly for his madrigal comedies. This lighthearted piece kindly translates itself into English in the second verse. And then we will conclude our Italian trip with Il Bianco e Dolce Cigno, The Sweet White Swan, composed by Jacques Arcadelt, a Franco-Flemish Renaissance composer. He is most well known for his madrigals. This particular madrigal is a setting of a highly emotional poem by Alfonso de Avalos, describing the different fates of blissful death involving human and swan. Again, the translation offered now can be found in the show notes, as well as the, the information, some of which I am sharing with you, and the dates on the composers for those interested. So for the translation of Il Bianco e Dolce Cigno, the sweet white swan dies while singing, and I, while weeping, reach the end of my life. What a strange and different fate, for he dies comfortless, while I die a blissful death, a death which fills me with joy and desire. And if I feel no other pain than this in dying, I should be content to die a thousand deaths a day. All that said, here are the Greenleaf singers delighting us with El Grillo, Fauna Canzona, and Il Bianco e Dolce Cigno. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 
Our final non-holiday selection, When Alan Adale, comes from the English-born composer Robert L. de Pearsall, who lived from 1795 to 1856. When Alan Adale is an expressive tale of one of Robin Hood's trusted compatriots. The text speaks of his father's origins and travails. Then the story moves into Alan Adale's calling as a minstrel. The melismas, dynamics, and articulations create a wonderful story quite befitting the Renaissance style. Here is the Greenleaf Singers singing When Alan Adale. When Alan and Adele went a hunting, and Adele went a hunting, and his foe was stout, and, was stout and, and small, and that was game, and no that was game, and no bush is green, no bush is green, no bush is green, no bush is green. Who was 
This week's special holiday episode concludes with two Christmas-themed pieces. First is "Love Came Down at Christmas." The text is Christina Rossetti's poem of the same name. The piece itself utilizes a contrafactum, or an exchanging of one text for another, which was a common practice during the Renaissance. In the case of this particular selection. The music is that of Ooki Manzamia, composed by Orlando de Lasso, who lived from around 1532 to around 1594. Enjoy this recording from Greenleaf's last rehearsal before their final Christmas 2022 performance. Our final selection for this week's holiday episode is "Lule My Liking," with the text coming from the Sloan Manuscript 2593, which is a collection of medieval lyrics. The music was composed by yours truly, me, eight years ago for the women of the Greenleaf Singers. They premiered the piece in December of 2014. You will hear a rehearsal performance recording from seven years ago of the women of the Greenleaf Singers. I do hope you enjoy this Christmas musical offering. Sitting and see, she loved all the children. 
my dear son, my sweetie teen, Lule, my dear heart, my own dear darling, that eternal Lord is he that made all the thing of all the I hope you enjoyed this special holiday episode featuring the wonderful sounds of the Greenleaf Singers. To find out more about the Greenleaf Singers, check out their links provided in the show notes. With Christmas and the New Year upon us, the next episode of Coffee Talk with King Francois Premier will be released either the second or third Friday in January of the new year. If you are a performer, merchant, or diehard patron in or of the Renaissance Festival world and would like to be featured on Coffee Talk with King Francois Premier, reach out to me by way of clicking on the following link provided in the show notes. www.theodorejander.com slash coffee talk podcast. Would you like to receive early access every week to each new episode, as well as receive a behind-the-scenes glimpse into the production and creative process for the podcast? If so, join the wonderful community of listeners supporting the show and making new things possible through Patreon. Learn more at www.patreon.com slash Coffee Talk with King Francois. The link will be provided in the show notes. I pray your dreams have helped renew the presence of beauty in each of you. For the beauty you hear and the beauty you see reflect the beautiful within thee. May the dreams we dream together during this podcast nest in thy soul as time goes past. I wish to thank you all for joining me in this special holiday episode of Coffee Talk with King Francois Premier. May you, 
along with your loved ones, have a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Abiento, see you soon, ciao for now, and au revoir.